one of those guys in um, like an MMO. Like, you know how you have uh, dungeon defenders? They have the little guys that float above you. It'd be cool to have like a little pig guy there. All right. Shall, shall we... Shall we be serious now? <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and play some Don't Starve. Oh yeah, the, the starving is not the hard part in this game at all. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Uh, let me kick my fraps on. Okay, so we're running 60 frames right now. Uh, what do you mean, Solus? Also, guys, let me know. Uh, is it laggy for you at all right now? So I'm using fraps, and uh, oh, that's yeah. Don't don't die, Craig. Okay, and how about now? Is it clearer now? Did it clear up? Did it clear up at all, guys? Or is it about the same from when I asked and when I... the first sec time? Oh, hey, look. Uh, nice. Because uh, I turned fraps on and off to see if it was changing anything. Uh, unfortunately, full ice. And what mode now? The sandbox custom? You want to see? Yeah, the video, unfortunately, takes more of a bit rate than the uh, audio. That's probably why. Is the sand What is the sandbox custom? Because, I mean, we're still on day one, so, I mean, it doesn't mean we can't restart and change it. No problem, Shred. What do you mean? So, so what's the difference between the custom one and this? Nice, Borderlands. You should re-roll it. <laughs> oh, so you can just set stuff. Oh, eh, nah, I like the challenge. I, I personally, I, playing Wolfgang, I think, is putting it on easy mode. Anyway. Alright, guys, so I want to run one more test. Um, as laggy as you think it is or isn't now, I'm going to turn my FAPS recording on. It doesn't change any frames for me, but I want to see if it changes anything for you guys, if you notice the difference. So now, from here on out, it's probably going to placebo you, but it shouldn't change anything for you, really. But you guys probably will think it is, because now it's a placebo effect. Still, it should be the same, yeah. Okay, cool. Good to know, guys. Unfortunately, it, it does seem that it is just Twitch today, guys, unfortunately. I thank you for hanging out with me and, and bearing with it. Uh, but it is, unfortunately, completely out of my hands, it looks like. But if you guys want to stick around, how about we record for the channel so don't starve if you don't mind. Is that something you guys are down with? You guys get to be on the interwebs? 
or at least on my channel. So at least 700 people will be able to see you, not 7,000. <laughs> That's no problem, Shady. I appreciate for all of you that, you know, if you're having issues or something, the fact that you guys are hanging out still in the channel is awesome. I, I really appreciate that. Oh god, the spiders and pigs are having a huge war. Alright, guys. Hey, look! And we're gonna find Chester right off the bat. So, uh, what we'll do is... Oops. Oh, man. We'll help! We'll help! We're helping pigs! Oh, no. Hey! The... Did the piggy not drop anything? Or did he drop, uh... Maybe he dropped food, and then the, uh, spiders ate it. Alright. Nonetheless, how about we, uh, do our little YouTube intro, and we'll go from there. So, welcome back, everybody, to Don't Starve. We're streaming today, as you can see, hopefully. Oh, you know what? The one thing is I don't want to use fraps, actually, because, um... Nice, Borderlands. I won't want to use fraps, actually, because of the fact that, um, uh, it won't cover, it won't get, um, it won't get the chat. So we'll just keep using the regular recording right now. It, YouTube can still see all of you. <laughs> so, you guys can still say hi. But yeah, I'll need to figure out a way to use recording. Um, I, I can I, I usually just pull stuff out of the stream and go from there. The problem is sometimes it audio and video desyncs, and that's a real pain in the ass. Also, we need to change this. Nice bumpy transition today, huh? Sucks that we died, too. That was a good run. Doot, doot, doot. We need a little dance emote so I can type dance or something. <laughs> Wee, foggy. The nice thing, though, is I guess it's uh, spring or summer right now. Uh, the days are longer, the dusks are decent, and the nights are really, really short. Uh, later on, I believe the nights will probably get a lot longer, though. Just a pain in the ass. Yeah, if you if you scroll all the way back out, it'll get to the point where it's just fog. And you can scroll all the way in. And it's just your boy. Really cool art style. I wish I could draw like this. Oh, damn it, Borderlands. <laughs> that will happen. Same length of winter. Because I've noticed uh, at different seasons or different times of the year, uh, the days and dusk are different. Yeah, the game is definitely harder. How'd you kill yourself? Bees do hurt. Yeah, the bees actually are the ones that killed me. Oh, hey, look at this. They're actually farming farming this time. Is this a pig hut? What's going on here? We're gonna have to check this out. Because before this, the, the pigs haven't actually farm farmed. They just have... What is this? Okay, first of all, we'll pick up the potato thing. This is just like a random farm plot? Oh yeah, that'll that'll definitely happen. That sucks so pirate. Or borderlands for that matter. 
Oh no, <laughs> what happened, Gray? Potatoes grow on farms. Okay, so that's their new thing that they're doing. Okay, we have bees over there. Hmm. Spider. Interesting that they put the potatoes in like a little homemade farm now. Oh, so you know what? Let's do... I don't think this they spoil less in him, but it seems like sometimes uh, they the spoilage is less. This way. It's the deer clops's farm. <laughs> Okay, so the, it's harder to find uh, the items to teleport out now, huh? Okay. Oh, a ghost! Run away! Because, yeah, usually the things used to be, like, all next to each other. Start digging up some of the tufts of grass because I usually use these as fuel for our fires. That's cool, we get a free shovel if nothing else uh, because right off the bat you can't build a shovel anymore until you start prototyping. So we're gonna go through and pick stuff up. Kind of sucks that the the little artifacts like this stuff aren't really useful anymore. They definitely were a lot more useful back in the day before the the new research system. Because I would say they're probably not as useful now. Why not? I've always I found that uh, grass tufts are the best fuel. They last through the entire night. Plus, plus they're easy to get. What do you use? Uh, give give what to the pig kings? The artifacts? Oh my god. Axe, you suck. I remember the axe being so bad. Uh, yeah, man. The grass tufts are easier to get for me, I think. Oh yeah, yeah. Always, you always give the trinkets to the pig king. Yeah, but that ta that takes three pieces of grass, where this doesn't take uh, any grass. So so far. Still no amazing place to farm. I want to find beefalo, if at all possible. I don't know if our map will have beefalo. Uh, we got lucky on our last big 55-day map, and it had a lot of beefalo. Uh, this might not. No, that's that's what I'm talking about, Cray. I just don't know if they have any actual use outside of that. I know that they do that, but... Yeah, the little trinkets. Yeah, there's bees. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know if the trinkets are, they're, I would say, not as useful anymore. Just because back in the day they were research and, I think, gold. I know at least a good amount of research. Whereas, um, gold I don't find a lot of need for, to be honest. Uh, it's nice for tools and stuff like that, sure. But but also, once you had max research points and, uh, and had everything uh, researched, then you didn't really need research points at all. So I guess it depends how you look at it. Hmm. 
Well, decent amount of berry bushes, some good grass, some decent amount of flint. Uh, still looking for beefalo. I'm really sad that I uh, um, didn't realize how much damage those things do when I don't have... Um, because I didn't have any armor on or the pig helmet even. Uh, those bees tore me a new one. So I was watching my health every time I picked honey, and it didn't seem like it was going down that quickly. Uh, but I was incorrect, which I tend to be quite often, it would seem. Uh, no problem, Rare. Have a good one. No problem, Shred. That's okay, I'm glad you're back. Quenneth, welcome back to the stream as well. Um, I think getting the research, getting rid of the research wasn't a bad idea. Uh, in the end, it's not a big deal. Um, it is, it makes it a little bit harder, sure. Maybe in kind of a superior or superficial way, maybe a little bit, but um, not a big, big deal. It now makes the librarian more useful, for sure. Uh, the librarian's pretty cool because she can make a lot of things without having to prototype or create science engines and stuff, which is pretty nice, actually. So we're going to get a lot of berry bushes, which is nice. The librarian? The librarian's nice, I thought. Uh, you don't have to be near a science machine or anything. You don't have to prototype, like, um, a majority of the stuff. You can just build it right off the bat. Now, it's more or less useless once you have prototyped it, but... I think it's a nice... It's like uh, Civilization playing one of the, the early uh, Civilizations, like the ones that have, like, like Montezuma that have the Jaguars. You know, it's nice right off the bat, but... Uh, yeah, sh what she can do now is that she doesn't need a science engine to build any of those items that normally would uh, allow you to build a prototype. You can just build it right off the bat, like shovels and stuff, and I think even some of the alchemy engine stuff. So, I believe they changed that when they changed the research, or like the patch afterwards. Yeah, no worries. We do want to make an alchemy engine, though, and a science engine eventually, because I would love to make a shovel to get all these berry bushes. Oh, also, I think someone mentioned, uh, Full Ice, you seem to think, or someone seemed to think that uh, stuff doesn't spoil as fast, maybe, now? Now there's a whole lot of this here. Nice. We're certainly finding a lot of food. Spoils even faster now? Oh. That's unfortunate. It seems like this stuff, see, it's already full, so it doesn't seem to be spoiling that fast. It's only been a few days, though. And I keep finding stuff to replenish it. My goodness, can we find some beefaloes? No problem, Shred. All the lurks. Make sure you have enough overlords for all the lurkers. They require more overlords. A lot of flint, a lot of carrots. So that's all good gravy, but uh, we need more. We need more beefs, more beefaloes. Okay, so we have bees up here, flint, grass, trees, a little bit of rabbits, not a whole lot actually. Carrots are a nice food source. Roasted, roasted or cooked carrots uh, are really good hunger replenishers, I think, right off the bat. Since it seemed like they nerfed cooked morsels a little bit. 
Seems like uncooked and cooked morsels uh, give you the same hunger. Trying to get an outline of the map real quick. Uh, but guys, after after doing an hour and a half or so of this game, Don't Starve, uh, what would you like to see after this? We can play more Binding of Isaac again. We can play uh, some FTL again. Anything you guys want. Oh, hey, look, a uh, wormhole. Let's take that, actually. Whee! Oh, 10 million? We can play that, sure. So that took away not too much, actually. And moved us here. We can always play a little Isaac after that. Whatever you guys want to see. Ten million usually uh, only lasts about half an hour anyway, so we'll definitely be able to fit some Isaac in. Like I said, I'll not be going to my usual Wednesday night appointment, so I will have plenty of time to stream for an extra hour or two uh, more than usual. Also, we need gold. Uh, oh, hey, look. A winter meter. Winterometer, I guess, would be the proper way of saying it. Yeah, I can show you some ten million. We got really close to beating it, actually, uh, the last time I streamed. Oh, nice. The graveyard. It's too bad. I, I kind of wish the graveyards respawned, you know, or refilled a little bit. It seems like once you've gone to them, that's, that's really it. Which I'm sure, once again, they'll change. But Man, This map sucks. I'm not going to lie. This map sucks. Not finding a whole lot of anything here. Some rocks. Some spiders. So I'd love to make a spear, but we don't have that prototype yet. Suspicious dirt pile. Pig, one pig hut. Man, this is a really big map. It seems like it's a Civ Five Pangaea map. There's a lot of openness. Unfortunately, nothing of any. Chester, nothing of any real use. Unfortunately. What if this will get us through the night? Oh, I bet you that's enough. Uh, let's get some of our carrots. Cook these bad boys up. There we go. Pretty much full. We will hang out for a little while. You can hold on to that, too. So it's interesting to see, now that Sanity's back up to 200 full ice and everyone else has played it, do you feel that it's easier to maintain Sanity, or do you think it's just a number? So, I mean, if it's went from 100 to 200, is there really any change? Or is it just, you know, a cosmetic, they want a bigger number? Or does it go down slower? Excuse me. Like I said, no sleep. Alright, so we're going to keep running along the outskirts because I want to kind of get a lay of the land. Love to find some beefalo. If we find some beefalo, I'll probably end up settling near them. Obviously not right on top of them because I don't want them going into heat and trashing me. Oh, possible beefalo. I feel like it's hard to maintain it at all. 
as everything is failing, get the flowers hat and done, yeah. I think it's just probably a higher number as well. Really? I think Wolf, I think everybody has 200 now. Uh, the Justice card will give you uh, one of like all the consumables, so use it. Mars, welcome to the stream. Thanks for hanging out with us. Yeah, the Justice card is a good Binding of Isaac card. Okay, so we have a lot of rabbits here, so that's a plus. We can end up fighting them for be uh, our beardlings. How goes it, Mars? How you doing? Yeah, no problem, Dark. I'm guessing we're not going to have Beefalo here, unfortunately. Uh, not bad. Thanks for asking. Uh, we're just trying to not... Uh, well, I'm not worried about starving. I'm worried about derping enough till we die. So I'm trying to not die. <laughs> oh, hey! Oh, sucky sucky now. What up, beefalos? You guys want a new neighbor? Uh, I'm okay at League. Uh, I have my above average days and I have my below average days. Uh, mostly all I play now are air amps, though. I, MOBAs take way too much time out of my life, just like MMOs, to where I just play air amps a few times a day at most uh, when I'm trying to, like, edit my YouTube stuff and get it uploaded. Because that way, when I'm dead or, you know, in between games, I have something to do. And while I'm editing, I can hang out with my nightlife gaming people and viewers and uh, have a little bit of fun at the same time. But, yeah, I, I don't really do fives. I don't do ranked. Uh, nothing against them. It's just it's very time-consuming and can be frustrating with uh, uh, pickup groups, pugs, individuals you don't know. Okay. Well, here, where do we want to set up town? It seems like there's a, a river here. We could. Maybe there's an attachment here. Nice. Yeah, it's, it's good to be good at games. It makes games less frustrating, usually. <laughs> usually. Although I find I have more patience with others' inability to play games properly uh, when I'm really bad. Like, I, when I'm really, really good at a game and I feel like I'm having to carry a team, like, let's say, uh, Battlefield Bad Company 2 way back in the day. I was pretty good at the game. And so, like, you know, if I was, like, 30 and 1 and everybody else is like, 0 and 20, I would get a little irritated with it. Not always. It would be very rare because I normally don't get mad or frustrated with games or people because, you know, why not? I mean, why get frustrated? There's no point in it. But uh, I, whereas, like, when I was really bad at the game, I, I, I guess I was maybe more sympathetic to people not understanding the game because I didn't either. I don't know. Also, another wormhole. It's pretty cool. We do need to get more gold, though. The gold is going to be our primary objective so we can build a science center. And Anubis, welcome back. It's funny, um... The more I play the game, the the least, the less I'm worried about actually having manure nearby. It's really not as big of a deal anymore, considering you can use uh, rotten food or rot as fertilizer. And I mean, when has it ever been a point where I needed uh, farms to not starve? I mean, on average, you just get 50,000 berry bushes, which is you know up to the game. Sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. And you're fine. So, still nice to have the beefalo nearby, I guess, though. Especially now that uh, they reproduce, you can actually use them as uh, meat, too. So I think what we'll do is look around a little bit more. I don't want to necessarily plant my base in the middle of all the beefalo, like I mentioned. 